It is time, guys, for a Walmart grocery haul, and Muggsy got a treat. He got some Frosty Paws, and I think he's liking it. So let me show you everything that I picked up in this grocery pickup. So yes, guys, we did a Walmart haul today. Me and Sam, we headed to get our grocery pickup. So one thing that I'm noticing, we had to actually go to the town over to their Walmart. Our Walmart is like opening more days sooner. They used to keep like two or three days where you could reserve your spot and then they wouldn't open days till like midnight. That's kind of changed a bit, but I was able to get a great pickup day um, in the town next to us. So it was a little bit more driving, but if you're having issues, kind of check locally and see what Walmarts you have. One tip that I always do is I at least put $50 worth of items in my cart and reserve my spot. Um, get my pickup time set, and then just go back in my cart and add items. That way, if I don't have my full grocery list ready, I can take a day and kind of do that, but at least I have my date reserved. So that is a really smart thing to do because we always have $50 and go-to items that we grab, whether it's like milk, orange juice, eggs, those kinds of things. So add those to your cart, reserve your time, and then you can always go back before pickup and add more items. So here is everything that we grabbed today. We had the car full. We've got some water there. We've got some dog food and then some other items here. We actually, for this quarantine, we decided to treat our dog to some specialty items too, because why not? They deserve it as well. So I'm going to go through some of the items. I'll highlight those substitution items too and let you know what they up substituted because it worked out really good. So one great item that they substituted, they substituted Angel Soft Bath Tissue, which wasn't available when I placed my order. I actually ordered three packs of the Walmart brand four pack toilet paper. Those are 68 cents each. Not the best toilet paper, but it was a limit of three. It was the only toilet paper available. And I thought, let me just start getting a little bit of extra toilet paper here and there, whatever I can. But I guess those sold out and this was available. So they substituted a nine mega roll Angel Soft. That right there is a super win. Another super win is on the paper plates. So I did not get the 300 count. I actually got the 200 count. I think they were $6.97. Uh, those were sold out. They upped it to the 300 count for the same price of $6.97. So two big wins right there. Here we have a bunch of organic bananas. I did get the kiddos the Yo Crunch with the Oreo and the M&Ms. They love this. And actually the M&Ms, they make this in a, this is vanilla yogurt, but they make it in the strawberry yogurt. And my son loves that one, but that comes in a four pack. So if you want to try that, you can grab it in a four pack. I love these market side Southwest salads. They have like an Asian, they have a couple, couple of different varieties. They just had the Southwest available. So I grabbed two of those and this is a kit guys. It comes with a Chipotle dressing. It's very, it's a little spicy. It's not very spicy. It's a little spicy, um, but those are really good. And then I did get a package of grape tomatoes. Now, if you have a birthday or just a special occasion, you can get items from Walmart bakery onto your um, pickup order. So we don't have anything too much going on, but I did just go ahead and grab the kiddos some of these frosted sugar cookies. Um, over here, we got some cereal. We've been kind of keeping it simple, especially during the week. So the kiddos wanted Fruit Loops and then my husband wanted Special K chocolate. Now I did get these Rice Krispies to make Rice Krispie treats, uh, but check it out. Look what they have. Lucky Charms Marshmallows. So instead of just using the plain marshmallows, I'm gonna use the Lucky Charms Marshmallows with my Rice Krispie Treats. Now I ordered the plain ones, they gave me the red, white, and blue, no biggie. But I thought that these were pretty cool to try something different. We've got some cucumber for my salad. Good old cinnamon toast sticks, the kids love these. I've been trying to get Texas toast with my order every time. It is not available just to make my own cinnamon sticks. So hopefully they get some in soon. We've got some rainbow sherbet here. In the back, we have a gallon of organic milk. We have some pulp-free 
Minute Maid orange juice. I've been drinking a lot of orange juice lately. I don't know. I'm just finding it like really refreshing. This, I don't know. I love Applegate. Applegate is expensive, no doubt. Very healthy. Um, this bag was, I think, $9.98. It is a smaller bag. They are gluten-free chicken tenders. Now, my kids do enjoy the gluten-free chicken tenders. This has about four and a half servings for the bag. So it is a little bit of a smaller bag, but we'll see how good those are. Um, for homeschool during the week, sometimes it's just easy to like take one of these out for lunchtime and just have it ready for them with like a juice box and some cut up fruit. Kind of like we are in school, but we're actually at home. I know it kind of sounds lazy, like just make the peanut butter and jelly, but um, these have come in hand during the week with homeschooling. Then just for convenience, like for my husband, I grabbed some of these cafe steamers. They didn't have a lot of varieties online. Um, I think all of these are the grilled chicken marinara with Parmesan. These were like $2.62. I didn't think that was a bad price. And speaking of Applegate, we got two packages of the no sugar chicken and herb breakfast sausages. We've been making a lot more, you know, eggs and having more formal breakfasts just with being at home. This was something fun I got for the kids. This is for ages six and up. It is a glowing chalk art kit. It comes with two reusable stencils. Um, and it comes with everything that you need. So you get gloves, a protective mask, which I guess would come in hand now, um, a mixing stick, you get the paintbrush, powder, I guess, for the actual paint, and then your stencil sheets, and then your chalk. So we'll see something different for the kids to do. I grabbed a box of the Angus beef burgers. And for tacos, I got the gluten-free McCormick taco mix. Another thing we got for the kids, we actually had friends who said this was really fun. We love Uno. This is Uno Flip. So this was under $6 to go ahead and get. And again, if you're doing Walmart pickup, you can pick up things like toys, um, items like that, personal care items. So if you have a birthday or if you want to get something for the kiddos, you can go ahead and do that. Now with my order, I did have a $10 Walmart grocery credit. So I did get $10 off, which was great. I'll share with you guys exactly how much everything was at the end of the video. And I did get a Lloyd's spare ribs. Um, just been kind of craving like barbecue lately. We had a couple of nice days, so we did grill like two days and um, just trying to find meats online, like chicken breast wasn't available, certain meats weren't available. But if you have a couple days between your pickup, when you place your order and if they don't have something that you want, check in a day like, you know, before you pick it up and it may become available because I did have that with chicken tenders. They did become available, so I grabbed those. These are the great value brand gluten-free kind of Oreo cookies. These are really good if you're on a gluten-free diet. My kids like these. Um, they're kind of like, you know, an Oreo. Here I got two of the organic ground beefs. We got some of the Sargento Balanced Breaks. We did get some grapes, and they look pretty good. Sometimes the grapes for my pickup have been kind of like on the fence, not the best, but these look really good. And then I got the kids a good old Frisbee. This was 97 cents. Um, I just figured for something different to have, something different to do. My favorite gluten-free crackers are the Milton's Crispy Sea Salt. So I grabbed one of those. That was under $3. Now, if you have a Costco, Costco sells like a gigantic bag of these and I know it's under $5. So it is a much better value, but they don't always carry it. But I know that's one of my go-to gets at Costco. All right, this pizza, I don't know if I've tried this one, this Kali Power Margarita Pizza. This looks so good though. So I grabbed one of those and then I got a value pack of the apples and cinnamon oatmeal. Again, a really easy breakfast. Usually when the kids wake up, um, we will kind of like just log on to all the computers, their computers, and just check and see what we have for the day. So if they can eat a quick breakfast when they're doing that, it's kind of nice to do. And then we got some chocolate chip Eggos. I also got some of the Fresh Cravings salsa and some chips here. And here's another thing we got for out, outdoors, this toss and catch game. 
This I think was like under four bucks, but it's just got like the two paddles and the ball and you just kind of throw it back and, and catch it with the discs. Another gluten-free goodie. Now I love the Nature's Bakery. Um, it's the pomegranate that are gluten-free too, but I got the raspberries. These are so good. If you like fig bars, they are very good. Now with this, I was gonna, this I ordered in my last Walmart pickup, which I was in the hospital, so we're talking like over three weeks ago, and I was gonna make a lemon cake using some of these cookies, but my son loved these cookies, and um, we don't have enough for the cake now, so I'll just use this. We're actually almost done, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this for that cake. It's just um, a lemon cake, lemon pudding, Cool Whip, and um, these crumbled up cookies. So I'm pretty excited about that. Some more meat, we got the Johnsonsville Italian sausage, and then I also got a Johnsonsville brats as well for the grill. Now, normally I get the Applegate hot dogs. They didn't have them. So I got the Oscar Mayer turkey dogs. We haven't had hot dogs in a while. So just have a couple things for the grill. I got two boxes of the Capri Sun organic juice boxes a carton of cottage cheese. Again, here are the tortillas with that fresh craving salsa, which is pretty good. Um, other items that I got. So I don't know, with this quarantine, you would think you'd be doing more stuff for yourself, but I need to be doing more stuff for myself. And with the weather we've been having, we haven't had sandal weather and I am a big sandal person. So I got this Carousel foot repair just to go ahead and give it a try. And then I did get some manicure items here. I got a little manicure kit um, just to freshen up my supplies. I got some nail files and the kids have been working on schoolwork, but all their art pencils are at school still. So I grabbed a 24 pack just so that they could have them for their art projects. All right, these organic Honeycrisp apples were pricey. I think they were like $5, but they smell so good, so I can't wait to try them. And then some more of those Healthy Choice steamers. This looks like a good one, barbecued seasoned pork and potatoes. And then there's another one of the grilled chicken. Um, big old pack of string cheese. Now, eggs online, I have not been able to get organic eggs for weeks now, but I did get two cartons of the 18 count large eggs. Chicken, like I said, what, there was not much available, but I figured we can do fajitas. We can just do different things. I might even bread these for like chicken strips. So I got two packages of the Purdue. I got these great value meatballs. We like these, these are really good. You can get deli products as well. So I did get um, some turkey and cheese. The Jack's pizzas were $2.50, so I grabbed one of those for an easy meal and then some distilled water. Now, one thing that I noticed online, they did not have limits of water. I could get four waters if I wanted to, but that is just, I've already got a little stash of water, so I'm just getting a little bit here and there. Uh, but I did get two cases of the 40 packs of water. I think these were $3.99, so really good deal. And then this they substituted. I did not get the healthy weight Beneful because my dog definitely, um, weight is not an issue for him, but we will use this. We'll just add some, maybe like um, some canned wet food in there for him. And not too many canned supplies here, but I did get some green beans. Got a big old watermelon. That has been one of my favorite things with being at home is like watermelon has been so good. I just, I'm not a fan of cutting it up. So if you have a favorite go-to item during this um, whole quarantine and staying at home, let us know in the comments. Um, haven't had a deal on wet mopping cloths in forever, so I just grabbed the 12 pack of the Great Value. I got the Banza pasta. We have some snacks under there, some Reese's peanut butter cups. I got a 12 pack. Some of these instant brown rices, which are really convenient. Love the gluten-free blueberry Martha white mix. These are so good. The kids love them too. And you just have to add milk. So it's super easy. Kids love these Cheetos puffs, the white cheddar. And then I got an organic cinnamon applesauce. This is the 12 packs. These are the pouches. And then for our dog, we thought, you know what? We have been kind of getting what we want during this quarantine. We need to baby him. So we got him these Frosty Paws. He's never had these, never had these. 
Um, so he's gonna have those. And then we got him the fresh pet serve, slice and serve roll. And then some of these dog treats, which these are the three dog bakery. These are really nice. They come, they look like vanilla cookies. They look like, like Oreo cookies. But you can see here there are peanut butter, golden and vanilla flavor dog treats. So that was everything that we grabbed in this Walmart grocery haul. Um, we got everything that we asked for except for those couple substitutions, which were fantastic. So if you haven't tried Walmart grocery pickup during this time, it makes it super convenient. The hard part is just like the process of cleaning off everything and, you know, keeping... <laughs> wiping down the products and things like that. Like I've wiped down the containers, now I have to go ahead and take care of each of the fruits and vegetables, like the strawberries, take them out, the grapes, wash those, and then put them in separate containers. So it's a little bit of a process, but if you try Walmart grocery pickup for your first time, you will get $10 off of your first $50 order pickup. So give it a try. I'll post a link in the description box below. Everything here totaled $345 and something cents. I'll post it right here so you guys can check it out. It's costing a little bit more during this time, but it's okay. Um, it's what we have to do at this point. There's not too much unless you're going in store and using coupons and savings. There's not too much to do with savings. But one thing that I did do was I linked my Ibotta to my Walmart grocery pickup Um you had to like put in your password and all of that and it links them together and it says it was successfully linked. So I'll keep you posted if I earn any cash back for my Ibotta because I know like the salsa, there was a rebate. I think there was a rebate on the strawberry. So I might be getting back some money too with that. I'll keep you posted so that you can do that as well. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you're doing well and I'll catch y'all later.